Hello everyone, this is Kunal Mehta from Make Me Scientific and in today's video, we are going to test some cations in the salt, salt compounds that to using sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide solutions. So what is going to happen is when we are going to add these solutions into the uh, different salt solutions of containing cations, they are going to produce some colored precipitates. So by the color of the uh, precipitates we are going to identify which kind of cations they are i hope you will surely enjoy this video let's move on let's take up the first salt that is lead to chloride which is white in color here i have its solution which is prepared by adding water to lead to chloride salt you can see that it's partially soluble in water we will take some amount of lead to chloride solution into the test tube using a dropper. We shall add some sodium hydroxide solution about 1 ml and immediately white colored precipitates are formed. On adding excess amount of sodium hydroxide solution, white colored precipitates disappear. In another test tube containing lead to chloride solution, Let's add about 1 ml of ammonium hydroxide solution. White colored precipitates are formed immediately. On adding excess amount of NH4OH solution, white precipitate remains without getting dissolved. This one with excess NaOH and that one with excess NH4OH. Here I have greenish white crystalline iron 2 chloride or ferrous chloride salt. Some of its solution is taken into the test tube. Adding about 1 ml of NaOH, green colored precipitates are observed. On adding about 1 ml of ammonium hydroxide, dirty green precipitates are obtained. Here I have orange colored iron 3 chloride or ferric chloride salt. Adding about 1 ml of sodium hydroxide to its solution we see reddish brown precipitates are formed. On adding about 1 ml of ammonium hydroxide, similar reddish brown precipitates are formed. Here I have calcium chloride salt. Due to the hot environment, it has converted into a liquid state. Let's add about 1 ml of sodium hydroxide solution to the test tube containing calcium chloride solution. White colored precipitates are immediately formed. Same process is repeated using ammonium hydroxide with small or large quantity of ammonium hydroxide. The solution remains colorless. Here I have white colored zinc chloride salt and its solution. I am adding about 1 ml of sodium hydroxide to the zinc chloride solution. White gelatinous type precipitates are formed immediately. With ammonium hydroxide, similar white gel type precipitates are formed. Here I have blue colored copper 2 sulfate salt and its solution. Taking some solution in the test tube and adding about 1 ml of sodium hydroxide to it. Immediately blue precipitates of copper 2 hydroxide are formed. Adding about 1 ml of ammonium hydroxide to copper 2 sulfate solution, deep blue precipitates of copper 2 hydroxide are formed. I hope the cation test with the help of ammonium and sodium hydroxide was very well understood 
If you have any doubts, please do comment in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching the video.